Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Frank. Good audio is important for live streaming and video. This video will delve into how Yolo Box's built in audio mixer can help you improve audio, including an introduction to all the settings and their practical uses, as well as common issues you might encounter during use. First, we see the overall layout of the audio mixer interface, which is very clear and organized. We can see that Yolobox has allocated separate volume adjustment areas for the program and each video source. Volume adjustment and audio delay are the fundamental features of the Yolobox built-in audio mixer. The volume bar is a familiar audio setting. When the audio channel here is enabled, we can slide the slider to adjust the volume for the live stream or video. It's important to note that sometimes people encounter a situation where the monitor volume is different from the streaming volume. For example, the audience can't hear any sound while the streamer can hear it in their monitoring headphones. This issue may be related to the monitor level. Using my device as an example, it currently has wired headphones connected. I will also use the invite guests feature on my computer to simulate the audience's listening experience. When I lower the volume of the local video to the point where we can't hear the live video sound on the computer or in the monitoring headphones, and then increase the monitor level, we notice that the volume on the computer remains unchanged, but the sound in the monitoring headphones becomes significantly louder. This demonstrates the volume compensation effect of the monitor level. Let's talk about how to adjust audio delay. Well, the cameras may have varying degrees of delay in processing the audio, which results in delay when converting the audio to HDMI and transmitting it to the YOLO box. By the way, this feature is currently applicable to YOLO box Ultra, Pro, and Mini. Typically, the result may involve a delay of one to three frames. Now, I need to delay two frames. How do I do that? First, I can go to the Stream Encoding Settings option in the Settings represented by the gear icon. Currently, I've set it to 30 FPS. What does this mean? It means my live stream will run at a rate of 30 frames per second. If there are 30 frames per second, then each frame is 30 milliseconds, and 60 milliseconds is two frames. So I need to delay it by 60 milliseconds. This will solve the issue of audio and video being out of sync. Next, let me demonstrate the actual effect of audio delay. When the audio and video are out of sync, you can adjust the audio delay slider to synchronize the audio with the video as closely as possible. When the host speaks, they will hear their own echo in their monitoring headphones with a delay of several seconds. This situation severely disrupts the host's concentration and can affect the rhythm of the live stream. To address this issue, Ultra introduces the minus feature. When minus is enabled, indicated by the minus button turning from gray to red, the host's echo in the monitoring headphones will be eliminated. Yolobox not only provides built-in audio mixer functionality, but also supports external audio mixers to meet the needs of users who aim for higher quality audio effects. On the device's body, we can see two external ports, line in and mic in. Well, if your wired microphone has a 3.5 millimeter plug, you can connect it to the mic and port. You can also connect a wireless microphone to the line and port. Additionally, if some audio mixers have type C plugs, you can connect them to Yolo box using the type C port here. It's worth noting that by clicking on the icon overlaid with a small speaker and gear next to audio mixer, you can access the control panel for line in and mic in. Here I can achieve environmental noise reduction by enabling noise reduction and adjusting the audio gain slider. Currently, only Ultra supports this setting. What's more, this feature is generally suitable for live streaming venues with significant ambient noise. However, if your live streaming environment is quiet enough or equipped with comprehensive audio devices, using this feature may actually lead to audio distortion. In several of our previous videos, we have discussed AFV, which stands for Audio Follow Video, and Ultra, Pro, and Mini all support the AFV feature. When AFV is enabled, the audio signal will automatically switch to the corresponding video source as I switch video sources, 
without the need for me to manually turn the audio channels on or off. This function is very useful in live streaming or video production because it simplifies audio management and ensures that the audio and video are always synchronized. Some users have encountered the issue where their video sources initially have sound, but after one or two hours of streaming, the sound is gone. This situation may be related to AFV. Now we can see that the sound for video source 1 is on. Then we enable AFV and switch between video source 1 and video source 2. Please note that because the audio follows the video source switch, the sound for video source 2 is turned on, but the sound for video source 1 is turned off. Next, we disable AFV, and the sound for video source 1 remains off. So, ensure that AFV is turned off when it's not needed. After ending the use of AFV, remember to re-enable the sound for the video sources that were turned off by AFV. When you need to invite guests into your live stream for live interaction, you might be concerned about the audio quality of your guests, for example, when the guests' voices are severely distorted. There could be several reasons for this issue, including the quality of their internet connection, any issues with the microphone or webcam they're using, and whether the browser they're using is compatible. Some browsers may not fully support guests' live stream access. Here, I recommend using Apple's Safari or Chrome. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group, where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLOLIV, you can contact us via email at contactbyyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 137 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 137 Thank you for watching this video. This is Frank. See you in the next video.